welcome to another episode of Jumping in the Pot. I'm your host, Marsha, and today, this is what's jumping in my pot. Quesa Bria Tacos. This dish, Quesa Bria Taco, is being made in two parts. Today, we're going to make the marinade sauce for it. Why it's going to be made in two parts? Because it has to marinate overnight if you want that rich flavor in it. You can marinate it for six to eight hours if you like. So let's get to the ingredients. These are the peppers I will be using. Guajillo, ancho, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, Mexican oregano, garlic, crushed tomatoes, Vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar or white distilled vinegar. Smoked paprika, cumin, and I have chuck roast that I'm using, beef. Now you can use goat meat, or lamb for this dish, but I'm using beef. I have already washed it, cubed it, and the next thing is we have a pot of boiling water here. We're going to put the peppers in them. This is to make them soft. We turn the fire off and we cover it up and let it steam for about 15 minutes. Then we will come back and make the sauce. Let's check the peppers. They were soaking here for 15 minutes. I have some tongs to take them out with. Yes, they so are soft. Put them here. I have a bowl in the sink. Now we take out some of the water the peppers was boiling in because we're going to use this to make the sauce with. So now we got to wait maybe about five minutes to let the peppers cool a bit. Now that the peppers have been cooling for about five minutes, see I have them in a bowl and this is what we do next. We can take a kitchen shear and cut off the top of the stem. And we shake the seeds out. Make sure all the seeds come out. Then we put it in the blender as we do that. 
See, we cut the top off of the stem. We shake all the seeds out into the sink. Now we add the oregano, the cumin, the smoked paprika, the chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce. The vinegar the water from the peppers, the garlic, the crushed tomatoes. Let's put a little bit more water to rinse out the crushed tomatoes with. Now, we're going to put the top on the blender, and we're going to blend it up. I think the marinade is ready. Let's see. I have the beef here. Oh, it smells delicious. Now we take the marinade and we pour it over the beef. We mix the beef and the sauce together. See? Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for overnight. And I will see you with the next step in the morning. Well, welcome back. It's the next day, and now we are going to make the queso bria. So these are the ingredients we will be using. Black pepper, salt, Beef broth, bay leaf, cinnamon, and cloves. Onions, white diced onions, cilantro, garlic, oil, and lime wedges. And I have three blends of Mexican cheese that I bought already shredded. Colby, Monterey Jack, and cheddar. And of course, the beef that I had marinating over. Now let's move on to assembling the quesabria 
tacos. I have a cast iron pot here that I'm going to turn it on medium. I'm going to add some oil to the pot. Going to add the diced onions. Saute until it get translucent. I think the onions have sauteed enough. So now it's time to add the chopped We let this saute up for We're going to add some black pepper and salt. everything up together. Okay, now we can move on to the next step. We're going to add the beef back into it. Okay, we let this saute for about two minutes. We mix the onion up with the beef. for about two to three minutes would be good. Let's see. Now we're going to add the beef broth. The sauce. Now we add the stick of cinnamon, the bay leaves, and the cloves. Gonna mix this up. The next step is we let this simmer for about five minutes. Then we cover it up and put it in the oven for about two hours at 350 degrees. See you in two hours. I've just taken it out of the oven. Now let's see. I have a plate here that I'm going to put the beef in because I have to shred them. 
We have to take out the bay leaf. Take out the cinnamon stick. Now we're going to take a fork. two forks and we pull them apart, pull the meat apart. We're shredding them up. Nice and tender. We're tearing them apart like you would do pulled pork. As always, the ingredients will be in the description box below. Now it's time to assemble the quesabria taco. I have a nonstick frying pan here to assemble the tacos. We take a taco, we dip it in the sauce. We submerge it all in the sauce. I have the way the heat turn up on medium high. Now we're going to shake off any excess sauce. We put it in the pan. Now, we add some beef to it. Then we add some diced red onions. Some cheese. some cilantro, now we're going to flip it over in half. We let it cook on one side for two minutes, then we flip it over and let it cook on the other side for another two minutes. 
Look at the quesabria jumping in the pan. Now let's make another one. Shake the excess off. Now we'll put a little red onion. Cilantro. And the cheese. Now, we take this and we flip it over. Here you have it, queso bria taco. You can make this with corn tacos, flour tacos. I'm using flour taco. And you can use the smaller size one or the larger size one, whichever you like. Enjoy. And I also have a bowl here of the sauce for dipping. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.